I get it, bro. You know, I get it. You know, the, the pizzas were greasy. The, there, was, there was mold growing out of the milk cartons. You know, yeah, school lunch was terrible. I, I wouldn't wish it on my greatest enemy. School food was so bad. I even bet down in the pits of hell, you know, where everyone's getting punished for all eternity, those broken souls, they're, they're still grateful. They're still grateful because Satan at least has a sign posted that strictly prohibits feeding people school lunch. School lunch was atrocious, all right, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't that bad. Like, bro, every other week in school, you know, once the lunch bell rang, you'd hear some some snot-nosed dumb fuck kids Man, so making the stupid. same joke I, I about uh, the school burgers being dry or uh, the pizzas being greasy. And you'd hear that same overused and pathetic-ass joke throughout the week over and over again. Like, like, yeah, yeah, kid, I know you got high hopes of being a comedian in the future, but believe it or not, hearing the same joke 58 times in the last four days doesn't make it any funny. And normally I wouldn't care, you know, they're making a meme, <laughs> they're making a joke. It's not hurting anybody, right? Wrong. The whole joke transitioned into kids ridiculing and disrespecting some of the lunch ladies. Like, how do you disrespect a lunch lady? Well, what type of mental handicap must you obtain before you antagonize Possibly the nicest group of people within the school. There were times, you know, back in school, you know, before my mom signed us up for free lunch, I'd have like no money for food that day. And the lunch ladies, you know, just because I'd always use my best manners around them, you know, like uh, just basic please and thank you, they'd be like, that's okay, baby. I'll pay for this one. But these hooligans, right? These nincompoops were out here in the lunch line saying shit like, hey, hey, can I have my food? But, but, but not have it taste like wet concrete? Uh, why would you do that? What, what did that accomplish? You not only made the, the lunch ladies feel bad, but, but now, now I got a kill! And the worst part about it, you know, it wasn't even that they were being obnoxious about something that the lunch ladies had no control over. It's that the majority of people that made these cheap ass jokes and harassed the lunch ladies were absolute hypocrites. They'd be in the lunch line just boasting, hyping themselves up like, bro, I swear, bro. Hands on their chest like they're, they're, they're reciting the, the fucking anti-lunch Pledge of Allegiance. Bro, bro, I swear, you will never, ever catch me eating any of this garbage. None. Not even 17 seconds elapses after they left the lunch line. You can see them clear as day, corner of the cafeteria, scarfing, scarfing, that, scarfing down the lunch tray, just deep throating the school's hot dogs like their life depended on. And they'd have the audacity to come back to school the next day with the same tired ass jokes. Ha ha, greasy pizza, right guys? Greasy pizza. Dry burgers, right guys? Right? Please laugh. Like, you know what, bro? You're right. The school lunch is bad. But don't act like we didn't just see you rip through your your lunch tray like that brown shit bag from off the Looney Tunes. Cause you know, yeah, you know, while the bread feels like bricks, the milks have the the consistency of bull semen. The lettuce is literally just lawn clipping from the neighboring school, and the burgers are so dry you could probably use them like a shamrock towel. While yeah, you know, all that is true. We still ate it, and deep down at the end of the day, we know the school lunch actually wasn't that bad. <laughs> Did you just say the title of the video? Whoa! Oh my god! I feel like we should subscribe to, to repay him for saying the title of the video.